Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bailey and this is hopefully, sorry guys, there's a big sun glare on me, but hopefully this is going to be the start of a fun little come on a day trip with me. If you've been here from the beginning, then you know that I just live a couple hours away, like two hours away from Lexington, Kentucky. And they, it's just like a bigger city. They have a lot more bookstores, ones that are like really discounted. Uh, so I'm really, really excited. It's me and my brother and his wife are going. We're just going to go shopping and have a really fun day. So I'm really excited to bring you along with me. I am not a logger. <laughs> so we will see how I do. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just left Bucky's. It's about thirty to forty minutes away from Lexington, where is our main destination. But that place is insane. If you don't know what it is, it's like this giant gas station that's in the south. I think it's originally from Texas. So Lindsay, you will know. <laughs> um, but it was massive. I didn't film too much in there. Of course, I filmed the food. But um, there was just so many people, so much stuff. So that was a lot of fun. So we're on our way to, I think, Half Price Books and possibly Barnes & Noble. It just depends on what we're doing and what's going on. But I'll try to get some clips in there too. So our day is moving forward. so it's the next day um all that footage that you just saw previously was the best I could do on my trip it just everywhere we went was honestly so insanely busy I ended up going to two half price books um and if you don't know what those are they're just a bookstore that buys and sells used books and I don't have anything like that near me so we like to go to Lexington and shop there I just discovered it several months ago so I was excited to be back again and find some books for cheap so I'll start with the first one and in the clip in the video that is the first store that's the one that you saw um the one at the other half price books in Lexington is literally just one strip of a tiny wall but that second one that I hadn't been to before was like that whole section which was so lovely there was so much Jeanette Oak Beverly Lewis, Karen Kingsbury. There was actually several Lynn Austins at this one as well. I ended up not getting any of them for the simple fact that they were a little bit more beat up, but they still wanted like eight bucks for it. And to me, it's just like, if it's gonna be as as beat up as what they were there, I'd want it a lot cheaper. Um, and that makes me maybe sound like a cheapskate, but. You know, that's why I'm there. I want to get a cheap book or a book for cheap. So, and there was also a Misu Andrew book that I really, really wanted. But again, they wanted like almost $9 and I'm like, so the first book that I found, which is honestly the one, there's two that I'm absolutely so excited for and I want to read right now. And this is one of them. It is the Anne of Green, Gra the Anne of Green Gables Treasury. And my sister-in-law, Addie, you might have seen her in one of the clips. Um, she actually found this and showed me it. 
and I got it. So basically, it's by Carolyn Strom Collins and Christina Weiss Erickson. If I'm not mistaken, it is the first book and it says, Lucy Maud Montgomery's classic Anne of Green Gables introduces the charming and memorable Anne Shirley and immortalized scenic Prince Edward Island at the turn of the century. Sorry guys. <laughs> Now in this lavishly illustrated volume, you can enter the world of Green Gables, learn how to prepare an Anne tea party, complete with easy recipes for tea time, recreate handy crafts from the Anne books, sachets, pressed flowers, button neck laces, pinafores, and Anne's famous flowered hat. Discover Anne's day-to-day -day adventures where she attended school while at her leisure and explore Green Gables itself. And it just has a little short biography, it says, of Anne's creator. And it also has um, synopses of all the books. And there's all kinds of texts and quotes and 150 full-color reproductions of printings. Oh, of paintings, sketches, and research and that have been researched and authenticated. 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 Authenticated guys I'm in love and I have to flip through this and show you all some of it when I saw that it had like the recipes for like Anne's for Anne's tea party dude I was sold and I just thought of so many of you so like look I'll just do this oh my gosh Anne's tea party <laughs> so guys I thought that was so lovely and it's in I mean pretty good condition it just has a little discoloring that's what the like hardcover looks like so thank you Addie for finding that <laughs> and then the next one is the ice one oh how do I say your name Janelle Silzelki uh, I actually have seen Mary Elizabeth Reed she recently hauled this um, she did a uh, come shopping with me at a bookstore and she just recently had a birthday. Happy belated birthday, Miriam. And she ended up picking this one up and had actually had seen it on, on her book wish list. And she picked this up and I was like, you know what? It was, my dad took the sticker off, but I got it for $2. What a steal. Like, and it's really almost in perfect condition. It's like perfect condition. It <clears throat> just sounded really good. I'm not going to show the backs of each of these because that would take a while I don't want to take up too much of your all's time but I'm pretty sure it's historical fiction but I think it's also Christian but I can't guarantee that 100% it sounds really lovely it's about a princess and then a doctor during like the Russian it says during the Russian Revolution I'm not I don't really like war stories but for some reason this really it just really sounded good to me and I thought for $2, like, if I didn't like it, I could just give it away or donate it. Then the next one, take my receipt out, is a Denise Hunter book. And I actually saw Amy from Pretty Little Paperbacks talk about this. I'm pretty sure it was on her Instagram stories. And it's Denise Hunter's book, and I just think it's so cute. It's just very romantic looking. And... It's one of her first books in a Summer Harbor novel. I've not read anything by Denise Hunter. I have one of her book, books, Lake Season, back here. I haven't read that one. But this one sounded really good. She said she could not put it down, and I'm really excited to read it. And also, one of my best friends, Lynn, she really, really enjoyed this book. She said it was her favorite one out of the series. So that makes me even more excited. Me and Lynn are very, very similar with our book preferences. So... I'm excited that's all I got at the first half price books that you all saw in the clip and then when I went to the second one I actually got several okay and then the first one I picked up is Lori Wicks the princess and quite literally the only reason why I picked this up was because of a lovely day with Holly we buddy read Pepper Basham's The Mistletoe Countess with several other ladies from booktube and she had said she noticed so many similarities between the mistletoe countess and Lori wick the princess and i'm pretty sure that holly said this was like her favorite romance if i'm wrong i'm sorry holly so i don't know i'm just really intrigued and holly doesn't really read a whole lot of romance and i just if it's her favorite i wanted to check it out this one was 6.49 uh and that's what it looks like so 
then the next one I am so excited <sighs> Kara Isaacs one thing I know and if you follow Oshina at Oshina God Read All, you would know that she loves Kara Isaac. She has been reading through some of her books this year and I've been really wanting to pick one up. I know that she has a lot of them on free, on Kindle Limited, but I just haven't been reading on my Kindle very much lately. And when I saw that this was there, I just, I had to get it. I'm pretty sure Oshina has read this one. Um... So yeah, I really, I can't remember what it's about. I was just so stoked that I found it and it was $5.99. And literally the only thing wrong with it is it has a little scuffing down there. Yay. Then this one is Susan May Warren's Heiress. And it says it's the Daughters of Fortune series. I think it's a three book series. I really love Susan May Warren. I've read two books by her, but they were contemporary Christian romance. And Susan May Warren writes really beautiful faith. I really enjoy her faith in her books and the romances are usually really good too. Um, she just is really good at relationships and I've never read any of her historical Christian romance, Christian fiction. Honestly, I didn't really even realize she wrote them. She writes so many books and I think I saw someone not too long ago. It might have been Catherine at Adventures in Paper and Bookstagram, but I saw this. It was like 549. And I truly don't really know much of what it's about other than that I think it's about like these rich sisters and they all need to get married and it follows each sister. So, and the challenges that come with it. And the next two are by Jenny B. Jones and I have not heard too much about Jenny B. Jones. I've heard her mentioned, but I have not looked into her at all. And these were both on sale for $3 each. And I honestly thought this sounded really lovely. It's called There You'll Find Me by Jenny Jones. And I just love the cover. And I'm pretty sure I briefly read it. Basically, this girl just graduated high school. She's 18. And she loses her brother. He passes away. And one of his favorite places to go was Ireland. And he felt most close to God there. And he had a journal about his time in Ireland, I think. And she ends up going abroad to study in Ireland and I think she meets a love interest while she's there so it sounded really cute and for three bucks I was like why not they're in good shape and then this one is just between you and me and it says up here a novel of losing fear and finding God and that just really spoke to me it's a Christian um, fiction romance I believe and so is the other one and I'm just really excited for it uh, so yeah, you can read the backs if you want. But yeah, that was my book haul. I think it's a pretty good haul. I mean, I truly did not even plan on getting that many. I was going to get maybe two or three, but I ended up finding those and I really didn't need it because I actually, me and my mom did a combined order from Tyndale, um, on Black Friday and we paid $8 and some cents and less for each book. And so it was kind of like a, a mixed order because some of the books she wanted more than me and some of the books I wanted more than her but I'm not going to show those today I'm going to do a separate video for those and talk a little bit more about them in depth so if you're going to if you want to see that let me know um, I'm going to film it separately and get that uploaded sometime here soon but I wanted to show these in this video to make it a little bit more official and have you see what I got from the trip I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog and some of the funny little clips of me trying to film in public with my brother and his wife. Um, I might have some bloopers at the end and I'm also including um, two clips or like two video clip, you know, videos of me opening surprise book blessings from earlier this week. Um, I'm so thankful for everybody. Thank you so much whether you send me something or not. So I just wanted to include this in there so the people that did send them to me uh, so they could see my reaction. I think that's so much fun. I love seeing people open their book mail and book blessings. I absolutely love it. So, all right, we'll get into the book blessings now. Okay, guys, so I think I'm just gonna stick this, tack this on to like an end of a video um, that I have planned for this coming week. I should be having a book haul. So hopefully you're either seeing this before or after this, but it is Tuesday, it's December, 6th yeah it's December 6th Tuesday and I have book mail 
pretty I mean I think I know who this is from I think it's from my sweet friend Brooke from pages of blessings I'm on my lunch break I work from home if you did not know that and I just could not resist because she actually helped me she was wanting to surprise me and send me a book that wasn't on my wish list but I didn't have it set up to where she could do that um, I didn't know there was a specific setting for it so she helped me with it so it is it's like I knew it was coming but it's also a surprise <laughs> oh, just this the best community it's so much fun getting book mail every single time okay let's see let's see what Miss Brooke had to say Bailey I know oh did she send me too Brooke <gasps> Brooke this book phenomenal oh my gosh I was not expecting this book I was just expecting the surprise book <laughs> ah, yay oh it's gorgeous look at that Legacy of Mercy by Lynn Austin it is the second book it's a duology to Waves of Mercy by Lynn Austin historical Christian fiction which is usually not my wheelhouse and it's I think it is also considered romance because there is romance in it but amazing 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 thank you so much Brooke I cannot wait for you to read this duology I'm so excited thank you you completed it oh, thank you I literally almost just bought this too on um, Black Friday but I didn't the Lord must have knew thank you Brooke it says Bailey I know Waves of Mercy is one of your favorites so I wanted to make sure you own the second book thank you for being such an amazing friend Merry Christmas from Brooke oh, I love you Brooke I'm so thankful for our friendship oh, you're so amazing thank you Brooke oh guys she's so sweet she just started booktube I'm sure a lot of you actually know who she is she is just popping off everybody loves Brooke and it's so well deserved y'all need to go follow Brooke um I will link her below and that way you can find her okay this one says I saw this on your TBR on Goodreads and I know you mentioned wanting to read it I'm not sure if you own the copy but with it being one of my favorite books of all time I could not resist from Brooke and she paid what is this she paid extra oh it's open already right. she paid extra <gasps> thank you Brooke you're so sweet it was already kind of open this is genuine shock Brooke oh look at how beautiful I'm shocked I have cold chills I, I'm dramatic oh my gosh look at this I do not I don't own this and I've never read it um I have seen the movie look how stunning this is oh my gosh it's so thick I never realized how thick Little Women is but I absolutely love the story look at this guys <gasps> Brooke you are one of a kind oh my gosh Brooke <laughs> guys I'm surprised I'm not crying I'm trying to hold back my tears <laughs> oh my gosh life and love are very precious when both are in full bloom oh my gosh this is just absolutely gorgeous gosh, thank you Brooke Look how stunning. I actually noticed your copy. Because you had this copy. And you were reading it. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I look rough. It's just, this is real life. This is working from home, Bailey. This is my uniform. <laughs> I love you, Brooke. You are a blessing. Oh, guys, look how stunning. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Brooke. What a blessing you are to me. <laughs> so excited. And see, the bad thing is about getting surprise book mail is that I just want to read these right now. Like, I just love this book so much. Like, 
even though I read them back in like August, September, right? Like August, September time. I, <laughs> I want to reread them already. That's how much I love them. And the fact that you sent me this just a so incredibly stunning copy of Little Women, I'm blown away. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you all so much for being here. Please check Brooke out. She is so amazing. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's the 7th of December and it's Wednesday. And I'm on my lunch break again. Oh, but I'm not done. What's going on guys? Y'all are popping off on the wish list. I'm actually overwhelmed, but it also makes me so happy because this is just the best community and I love y'all so very much. It's not even about the gifts, it's about the love and kindness that is behind them. So thank y'all so much. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to do this really quick because I'm on my lunch break. I'm actually getting off early today, like an hour and a half early. Seaside water! Oh my gosh. If y'all have been here, you know. You know, this is amazing. Oh, here I go. Here I go. I'm on my Melissa tag. And this is a contemporary Christian romance book. And it's the second in the Murr Harbor Family series by Melissa Tag, A Seaside Wonder. Phenomenal. I just read this, I just finished it last week or something a few days ago I don't even know guys that is so good thank you who sent it okay here we go I need to know who sent it okay. <laughs> you need a physical copy of this book absolutely it's too gorgeous not to have it I love you girl happy reading from Bethany Brings books guys Bethany is my girl she's also according to her precious kids my sister and we are we're sisters um bethany is a fellow booktuber on here if you didn't know and she is amazing i actually met her over well i'll say over the summer but in september when i was on a beach trip to ocean Isle beach in north carolina she lives in north carolina so she drove a couple hours away to meet me and she's the first um fellow like booktuber bookstagrammer that i've met in person and i love her she is Words can't express how much I love Bethany. Thank you, Bethany. <laughs> Me and Bethany buddy read the first book. We buddy read A Seaside Wonder. And we buddy read it with Susan as well. She's a fellow um, subscriber and just sweet, sweet friend. <laughs> I'm so excited. Bethany, this is really a gift to me and my mom because, you know, my mama loves these books. So she's going to be so excited. Thank you, Bethany. I love you. <laughs> and then this one's in a box, so. Usually that means it's like gift wrapped, which y'all really are so sweet to pay extra for gift wrapping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the tag. It fell off. I'm going to go ahead and look at the tag. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sweet Bailey girl, first congrats on three congrats on three hundred subs. You are amazing, and everyone sees that. Secondly, okay, Lindsay. <laughs> Secondly, I know it's been a hard season for you, and this book felt perfect to give to you. Love you so very much, from Lindsay Lemus. <laughs> okay, thank you, Lindsay. I love Lindsay. She is so sweet, guys. So Lindsay. Lemus is on um, Bookstagram, but she does not have a YouTube channel, which I think all of us in the books book, booktube community feels like Lindsay should make a channel. Um, everyone loves Lindsay if you do not know her. She is a loyal friend and subscriber. I love Lindsay with all my heart. We talk pretty much almost every week. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay knows. She's so sweet. I love you, Lindsay, so much. Oh. And guys, when I cry, it's not like out of sadness. It's truly just out of total gratitude. 
It really is. I'm a crier. Let's see what you got me. What'd you get me? Oh my gosh, Shaken um, by Carissa Lynch. Okay, so I've never read anything by Carissa Lynch. Okay, let's just take a moment for this cover. Okay, if I remember correctly, it was Kayla from Chronicles of a Book Nerd. I was watching one of her past videos. I'm pretty sure it was Caitlin. If, I, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> this was recommended and it just sounded so good. So it's Christian, I think fiction romance. Um, oh, it says thrilling suspense and romance. Well, that sounds like Caitlin because Caitlin loves romantic Christian suspense. Okay, so guys, I just read the back of this because um, I remember hearing about it and it sounded amazing, but I couldn't remember um, what it was completely about because it's just been several weeks. So this is basically about a girl who is wanting to follow like her lifelong dream and she wants to go do that and she finally does and she leaves like this person behind this man um for to follow this dream and then the love interest is the guy is a navy seal and he serves his country and he's finally to tell the woman that he loves that he loves her and you know wants to be there with her and then she goes away and he is you know left behind and then something like an accident happens and so on and so forth so it's a romantic christian suspense it just sounds really good and guys the reviews to this book is like amazing lindsay lindsay and bethany i love you both so very much i hold you both close to my heart i'm so thankful to god for both of you y'all bless me abundantly and um and i'm so thankful for both of you guys i am gonna check this on to my other book unboxing video i'm just so thankful for everyone that is here everyone that truly takes the time to click on a video and watch it takes the time to follow me to um comment like the video everything i just am so blown away i've needed this community more than anybody will ever know and I'm so blessed by each and every one of you. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, what you just <laughs> Okay, y'all don't see anything. Can you, could you do voiceovers? Man, I don't know. Okay. Like while you're showing the B-roll of Bucky, you should be like... Yeah, but maybe they want to see my face. Oh my god, are you Bailey's bookshelf?